Hi, it's me, Bill, again. I uh, thought I'd show you my backup and emergency lighting setup. I have 20 15 watt panels on the roof. I also have three 100 watt panels. The three 100 watt panels feed a grid tie inverter. The 20 15 watt panels, they feed a battery bank and it powers an inverter that runs my backup lighting in my house, which we use most of the time anyway. We very seldom ever turn a light switch on or off. The wind turbine there, it also charges the battery bank. That little panel there, it runs a little fan in the kitchen. Anytime the sun's up, this fan runs, and that's nice. It's right in front of the air conditioner. Helps distribute the cold air. Now I'll take you inside and let you see the lights. All right, we're going to go in the house and look at the lights. That light right there is one of them that's on a motion sensor. It automatically comes on when you walk in the room and shuts off a few minutes later after you leave the room. One here in the kitchen, it also comes on when you walk in the room. This ran off of a motion sensor right there. sensor right there at the corner and it turns on two of those same type lights in the bathroom is the same thing another similar fixture motion sensor walk in it comes on walk out a few minutes later it shuts off Bedrooms I've done a little bit differently. I've actually wired in a remote that turns them on or off at the push of a button. All these lights run on a battery bank that's out in the garage and an inverter out there and I'll show you those in a later video. Now I have not took the original wiring out, so I still have normal lights that have always been in the house. I just hardly ever use them. Living room, I've wired in a remote to shut that motion sensor off in case I'm in here and don't want to have a light on. bedroom and I've done the same thing. Another fixture it comes on when you walk in the room. It's pointed straight down at the doorway.